Hey everybody and welcome to our holiday look video number two. So hopefully you've seen the first video already and now we're gonna do a second holiday hairstyle for you. It's gonna be super cute, just like the first one. Um, as you can see, we already have Jennifer's hair curled with a very small Enzo Milano curling stick. Um, and you can see the details on how to do that in the last video. So once your hair's curled, now we're gonna move to the next step and Jennifer here's gonna explain to you and to me how to do this look. So step number one, brush it out. We're gonna create a, a look that you've seen on a bazillion red carpets. It's gonna be perfect for you to do for your holiday Christmas party. Deep side part, pull back on this end. So it's gonna have deep side part over there. This is gonna be pulled out and then we're gonna pull this back around so you're gonna get these curls coming down through here. It's gonna look really sexy, really sleek. Now we just need to know how to do it. Okay, Jennifer, take us through it. So step two, create your deep side part. Okay, so I'm taking the brush and how deep we're gonna go, like this deep? Normally, everyone should part their hair, men and women, to where your session is. So women, we have them too. It's that little indent where we've got those baby hairs. That's where our where our part's gonna be. Right or left, whatever side your hair works better on. So try to make your part pretty good. I'm having a little bit of a rough time with this brush. <laughs> Take a comb. <laughs> it's much easier when you have a comb. <laughs> or a clip. <laughs> or a clip. Something with a sharp edge that you can actually just guide, uh, glide right through. Okay, Jennifer, next step. All right, so you're gonna take that flat brush and I'm, you're gonna brush the front of my hair up and back so that we can get a big, soft wave in the front. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hold it here in place. People at home, you can use a clip, or you know what, why don't you just put a clip there? Okay. So he's gonna just separate the side from the top. On this side, Go ahead and take the flat brush mm -hmm. and wrap it around the back of your head, or my head. I'm gonna carry this down too, and this down too. So now it looks super sleek, smooth and shiny. Okay, what's next? So now, you guys are not gonna wrap it in a ponytail, you're actually gonna take the bobby pins and you're gonna clip it behind your ear. I want you to crisscross like an X. We have a little X right here. So we're gonna use the bobby pins we already have in place to make more X's. You'll wanna use a bobby pin that's the same color of your hair. We're using these just so you can see for contrast against the hair. And like I said, look, X, 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 X. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, don't worry too much about your X's. Just cover the bobby pins on top of each other and just keep going all the way up. Okay, so now we're secured. So what we've done here is we've just covered up the bobby pins with some of this hair, and we took a hair clip and we just pushed it down in here to just hold the hair that covers your bobby pins. Even if the same color of hair, you don't want them to be exposed. Mm -hmm. You'll take these hairs that are loose back here, kind of wrap it a little bit and just stick it in there. Okay, so now you kind of pretty much can't see any pins. So as you can see, we're almost done, but it looks a little bit uh, frizzy kind of right here. It's a little messy. We want to make it a little sleeker. So Jennifer has instructed me to take our, where at, at your cheekbone? So right about here where your cheekbone is, you want to open up your face. You want to open up your eyes. But see, when your hair comes down a little bit towards your eyes, it does draw attention here. So as you can see, I have this flip right here. It's drawing a lot of, of, of attention to this area. So I want to open myself up around the chin. So we're going to take this piece of hair and we're going to turn it back. So right here, we're going, we're going to pin it behind the ear and into those crisscross bobby pins. There you go.